I think the yeah. biggest lesson for me was to vet my clients just a little bit more. Welcome, welcome. We've got Sanika and Nina here with us today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now, right off the bat, Sanika, I've got to know, how did you come to be on Match Me Abroad? So, um, interesting story. I was scrolling through my email and I saw a notice for it. Um, I'm subscribed to... um, I have a lot of junk mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of junk mail. And today I decided to actually go through it. And I was having one of those days where, you know, mm, let's see what this is about. And I read into it and, you know, they were looking for singles. And I said, YOLO, let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't had any luck with dating. I'm in a place in my life where I, I have went after my career and, you know, I'm pretty happy and satisfied with my life is. And it's just time for me to try to find love. And so I responded to the junk mail. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. That's awesome. We should all be going through our spam folders, clearly. (laughs) So what was it about dating in the U.S. that you were like, this is tired. I'm over this. I got to. So I. I've never had luck with dating in the U.S. When it comes to dating, I, to be honest, I really didn't know where to start. You know, when I date, I get tired of the basic um, questions. I'm a Gemini, and you have to you have to entertain me, okay? I, it takes a lot to keep my attention, and the dates were just boring. Go out to dinner, you go do the basic things. And, you know, I need someone that's more adventurous. And I just haven't had luck here in the States and all the states. I just, the, the dating pool just seems very small. Yeah. Well, and Nina, this is where you come in. How long have you been matchmaking? How did you uh, hook up with Danica? And, and what was your like first impression of her situation? Well, it was kind of an accident. I just started like putting my friends together. And then I started seeing that, like, I remember years ago, I went on a first date with my best friend because she didn't want to go alone. And I was like, you're going to marry him. And she was like, you're crazy. No, I'm not. Fast forward, they have three kids. Um, You've got it. Same thing with my uh, with another group of friends. And I was just like, wow, I have a I have a really good eye for picking who's right for who. Mm-hmm. And then I came across Danica's profile and I just really connected with her without even like meeting her. I was like, I really want to help Danica. She seemed like so much fun. She seemed like a great person. I was like, we could have a lot of fun. And I love Arab men. So I wanted Danica to get a chance at having a crack at him. Awesome. And, and so, you know, she's saying like, I'm, I'm bored with uh, the US dating scene. These dates are boring. Is this something that you are used to hearing Yes, I'm used to hearing it. I feel like the dating scene in America is broken. Yeah. Um, for everybody, all all genders, <laughs> all se- any but LGBTQ community, everybody is just suffering. This just the culture in America definitely shifted when it comes to dating for the worse. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm like, we need to outsource. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so oh sorry, I interrupted you. What'd you say? <laughs> I said I definitely agree. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So so you two meet for the first time and, you know, you're talking back and forth about what you're looking for in a partner. How would you say that the first meeting went for both of you? It went really, really well. Um, you know, I was skeptical at first. I didn't know what to expect with, you know, with meeting Nina. But Nina personality, you know, she's a character. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she knows what she's talking about and she knows that area. And I, I really trusted her. And, you know? Yeah. And for Nina, what was it like meeting Sanika and actually getting to know like a little bit more of what she was looking for? Where was this something that you felt like you could help with? I definitely felt like I could help Sanika because I went through her profile. We spoke mm-hmm. on Zoom a few times. She told me her concerns, what she was looking for. And I I was like, I think I could help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does this matchmaking process kind of look like from that point on? Obviously, you talk and you get to know. But what happens next? 
I guess for me, it was a lot of pre-production, like getting to know what they're looking for, getting to know what they want, getting to know what their what their needs are, things like that. Interesting. Okay. And so, you know, Sanika, you're making your way across the globe to look for love. How hopeful were you at this point? You know, um, once I got on the plane and to, to make this journey, I was all in YOLO. I, I, there was no one that could talk me out of this. Mm -hmm. um, there was, I was just very hopeful. I mean, what's the thing that can happen? Exactly. Go on a few bad dates. That's already happening. <laughs> yes. Um, because, I mean, I've never had a boyfriend. I've never been in a serious relationship. I just I just haven't met in the state someone that meets what I'm looking for. And who's to say that love is it can only be found here in America? So why, why not? Love is love can be anywhere. And so I was willing to take any risk that, that came with it. But um, I was very hopeful, very, very hopeful. Okay, so we've got, we're hopeful, we're heading over. What would you say was the biggest challenge throughout this process for both of you? It's Danica, if you want to start. Um, the biggest challenge for me, um, going, especially going into a, um, going somewhere that where I've never been, mm -hmm. I was nervous about the culture because um, I wanted to make sure that I was respectful and um, appropriate because I like to show a little skin. <laughs> um, so that was that was, my, that was my main concern to make sure that I'm respectful of whoever um, I'm I'm going on dates with and just respectful. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you, Nina? I think the biggest. Thing that I struggled with was definitely culture clashes, like Stanika said, and mm -hmm. language barriers. Mm -hmm. I was trying to make sure that everybody was on the same page and spoke the same language and understood yeah. each other and can communicate because obviously communication is a big thing when it comes to dating. Mm -hmm. So I was just trying to make sure that everyone was fully aware of what to expect from one another. That's a lot of things to be juggling all at once. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would. I made sure I had Google Translate. <laughs> it works pretty well, you know, for the basics. It does. <laughs> now, I'm curious what, you know, obviously we won't go into spoilers or anything like that, but I'm curious what the biggest lesson was for you, Stanika, looking back on your journey. Um, ooh, the biggest lesson. I'm a, And I think about this all the time. I wish I would have I wish I would yeah. have did it. Um, Why so? It was, the experience was very unique. Mm -hmm. um, was, I learned so much about myself. You know, I already know a lot about myself, but mm -hmm. I learned even more. Like, I know that I want family, you know. Um, my family, we're very close, but we are, we're so busy. You know, mm -hmm. we're always like right now, my parents are in like Florida. We're all over the place. Yeah. But when we get together, it's amazing. But I, going over there, um, family is very important and they make extra, extra time for their family. So that's something that I brought back home. And ever since I've been back, me and my family has been together every week. <laughs> oh, every week. So, I uh, love that. It made me cherish my family that much more. That's wonderful. That's a great lesson to take away from it. Yeah. And, and Nina, what about you? Did you take anything away where you're like, I'm going to use this in my future matchmaking experiences? I took so many lessons, but no spoilers. I think the yeah. biggest lesson for me was to vet my clients just a little bit more. Mm, okay. Okay. That's a nice Can little tease. You didn't vet me enough, Nina? I didn't vet anybody. No, I vetted <laughs> everybody, but I just, you know, there's only so much I can do with giving somebody a questionnaire, you could lie, you could not be authentic. You could, you know, just a little, a little more, a little more uh, stalking on my end. <laughs> we could all do with a little bit more Instagram yeah. stalking, you know? <laughs> well, I am super excited for the show to premiere. Are both of you excited? So excited. I am excited. I cannot wait. 
Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see the rest of your journey. And thank you so much for opening up to me about it.